Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is a small extract from my last video on JavaScript array methods. I'm going to link that video down below. Make sure you check it out if you're interested in finding out more about how to manipulate arrays. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know whenever I release new content on this channel. To all my subscribers, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this video. There are three array methods that return iterators. Entries, keys, and values. An iterator is an object that keeps track of its current position whilst accessing items in a collection one at a time. It returns an object with two properties, done and value. It also provides a next method which returns the next item in the sequence. When the sequence is finished, the value will equal undefined and done will equal true. So let's have a look at these three methods. Firstly, let's have a look at entries. Entries returns a key value pair iteration object so if we put const entries equals words dot entries and we output entries we can see that it's an iterator object and we can see that it has a next method so let's call that and if we output the value of that oh we can see the value is zero, hello, and done is false. And if we do this again, now value is one and world. Now value is an array with key one, value world, and done is still false. And if we call it one more time, value is undefined and done is true. Let's do the same thing with keys. So keys is going to do the same thing. It's going to return an iterator object containing all the keys of an array. So let's change entries to keys. And we're going to see the value has changed and it's outputting the key zero and one and then finally undefined and done is true. And let's see values. And we can see the iterator object returns the values, each element in the array, hello, world, and then finally undefined and done is true. 